Terry, he doesn't shoot like a normal director. I mean, what he's doing is just different than what other people are doing. In which a man and a woman are joined together. It's like a roller coaster. You don't know what's going to happen next. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? We go where instincts take us. Now you this know. is going to be amazing. In this movie, you really have to sort of allow the chaos to be the chaos of life, which is what Terry really wants. When we work with him, we have a feeling that we don't know what we're doing. Actually, he knows exactly. I think he knows perfectly. We spent a long time looking for Marina, for an actress who wasn't born in the United States, who would feel like an outsider in the small Oklahoma community. The very first time I went uh, auditioning for this was in Paris. I received just a page with uh, descriptions of uh, scenes. Everything was silent. The audition was silent. There was nothing to say. But I kind of understood um, what he wanted. Terry will always look for not somebody who can just become the character, but somebody who already possesses qualities that can give that character life that he as a writer might never envision. You know, I had been planning to just take a break after direct mode for a year and a half and then promoting the movie and really just being with my family. And this is probably the only movie uh, and the only guy who if he called me up who would say, all right, honey, sorry, I gotta go back and do another movie. But I was really, really excited. And you should have seen the place, you should have seen where I found her, in Paris, in his apartment. What was new to this movie was not ever having a formal script. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing to look at. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is very different from most, uh, most films. Terry basically kept describing my character and telling me more and more about her. Basically, I, I, I had that person coming to life in my mind, little by little. Terry gave me a lot of information so I could get a feeling for where my character maybe went to school, where she lived, where her parents lived. Terry told me more or less where was the frame of the character. Like, he won't go that way, he will go this way. Based on that, I read some books, uh, I saw some documentaries. There was this amazing documentary of Mother Teresa, the Calcutta. He asked me to reread Anna Karenina, uh, Brother Karamazov, and The Idiot. All the three of them are that thick. There was a lot of reading. The syllabus was big. I read Heidegger just because I know that Terry did a translation of Heidegger, so I wanted to see if it gave me any insight. Uh, it gave me no insight. Yeah, I got a really just thorough education on lots of things. I think Terry's about building a really rich foundation, and then you just kind of pull little pieces out, and little surprises come out of that. The process for, for the actors to, to really understand their characters was a constant evolution, it was something that was much different on day one than it was on day 30. In many ways, it, it wasn't a, a story that was, was crafted, it was one that was discovered. Having worked on Hollywood films for 10, 15 years, I was so used to the conventional script-based Hollywood system. And so it is freeing, it's very liberating to come in and, and work on Terry, and he's so creative and so generous. You go off on one story, and there's another story there, and then there's another story there. <laughs> I don't know what Marina is in the movie because I don't have the script. I don't know how their relationship is in the movie. I don't have any idea. They don't talk. I don't want to ask them. Nobody tells me, not even the director. So the relationship that I have with Marina, Olga's character of Ben, is what I see and what I hear. So I cannot judge from things that I haven't seen or heard, which is great. I don't have the courage to let her go. I wonder if there are things that he didn't give us on purpose. So, like, I kind of know what's happening, but I'm not sure, you know? Like, I was doing something not knowing exactly where it leads. And maybe it's good, because in life, we don't know where we're going. So it's very real. You make me this way. When, he, when I did first sit down with him, he said, like, I have this technique. He didn't really tell me all about it, but he said, 
and I talk throughout, you know, throughout the takes. It was like my internal voice. Terry was my internal voice. I think this is one area where directing has really helped me because I, I realized that there's no point in waiting till after to, to say it, to tell the notes, because what you're doing is now not going to be in the movie. Whether it feels good to you or not, he doesn't like it, so you might as well get a chance to course correct midstream, then sail all the way to the shore and come back on cut, and he goes like, wrong beach. So this way, he's kind of in there with you helping. Terry's more about reacting to what he's seeing on screen, and so it's not about this character needs to be doing this in this scene. It's more about seeing what's there, and whether it's, well, what Terry calls it is whether it's honest or not. And if, and if any hint of falsity or, any, or theatricality comes through, then we abandon that. Even if it's more accurate for what the scene is, we'll go in a completely different direction to try to get those honest moments. The initial premise was that the actors would wear their own clothes. It wasn't really Bartlesville. Terry wanted something much more real. We started shopping here and we brought almost nothing from Los Angeles except some uh, vestments for the priests. Let's go up the hill. Go. Oh, quickly! <laughs> quickly, Eric! This is the third film that we've done with Terry and Shiva together and it's thrilling to watch because they have become so in tune with each other. The actors soon learn to move in a way that works with the light. It, it then becomes a, you know, almost like a ballet where the actors will get grounded and understand the context of what they're doing as everything else is, you know, getting to, you know, brought together by the crew. And then seamlessly within minutes, you know, we'll be shooting. And, uh, and at that point really is when the actors will figure out what that scene is. How long have you been wearing clocks? I learned it from my father. He sees the human physicality and the natural world and the environment as much, if not more important than the words, you know? And he's written all these words, and yet he doesn't really, it's not about the words to him. The words are, are a means to an end. You really have to internalize that. He's just trying to catch moments as they come up, and you never know when they're going to come up. Our Father in Heaven, we are grateful to meet with our friends this evening. Terry likes everything backlit. And with natural light. So we're always looking for a south or southwest location for the afternoon shooting and a east or southeast location for morning shooting. We mix professional actors with non-actors all the time. What's happening in the movie is, see this man in, in brown? And he's holding a weird metal thing? He's like a stranger in the neighborhood. We always look for people who feel real to us. And sometimes there's no one better than the real person. In Bartlesville, we found people who were happy to talk. They might be ill, they might be incarcerated, and they were generous enough with their own experience to share what they were going through. I went in and was getting the normal routine and he told me that I was pregnant. I, I think I've seen like 15 or 16 different people. It's pretty amazing, it's pretty powerful. And I don't know about the audience, but I think it was the most rewarding thing of this whole experience. It was for me to have the chance to go to their houses and talk to them and listen to them. Yeah, he don't mind me leaving the hell on, but that power hit me right in the neck. Hey! Hey! That's curvy. Oh, that's it. Scared me too, but like a lightning rod. Right. Yeah, let's go. Beautiful light. It was about to rain. Let's not blow it. The city of Bartlesville was uh, was a character in the story. They were so ready to to get behind something that would benefit the community. Okay, good. We're just getting some wide shots of downtown. They were so supportive of the way that, 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 that we were working. We, we get into the vans like a bobsled team out, and within 15 minutes, we'll be shooting again. And obviously, in a, in a given day, we might visit 15, 20 different locations, and at times, that could be an inconvenience to, uh, to people. That community got behind this film and supported us in every way possible. That is, uh, vamonos de aquí, to Bartonville. That is a wrap, yes.